Hello friends, welcome to the Mind Test Tech YouTube channel. My name is Prince and this is our 6th JavaScript lecture and in this lecture we will study about the prompt box in the JavaScript. That what is prompt box, what is the use of prompt box and how to use the prompt box in the JavaScript. So let us start friends. So first of all friends, we have to know about that what is that prompt box. So friends, prompt box is a dialog box in the JavaScript which is used to take the input from the user before displaying the result on the screen. Or it is a box which is used to take the input from the user friends. Now let us see how to create the prompt box in the JavaScript. So to create the prompt box in the JavaScript, what you have to do, you have to write here the prompt between the script tag. Why between the script tag? Because we are going to write the JavaScript code friends. So let us write here the prompt and then bracket and between that bracket we have to write the semi that we have to write here the double quotes and in that double quotes we have to write that message which you want to show to the user that you have to enter that message friends now let us write here that please enter your name and then what you have to do you have to press here the semicolon friends now we have created our first prompt box friends now control plus s now you can see the desktop that our prompt box named html file has been created friends now double click on that friends now you can see here that friends in the browser you can see here that please enter your name is showing and a prompt box has been created friends now we have to enter our name here in this box let us enter our name that is prince and then you can see that there is two options that is ok and the cancel now click on ok now you can see here that nothing is display displaying on the screen on the web browser screen now if you want that if you enter your name in the prompt box and your name should be displayed on that web browser screen so what do you have to do we just have to create here that like that so we have to write here that is the variable a is equals to we have to assign that assign the value of the prompt box to the variable a so that whatever the user will enter in the prompt box it will the value will store in the a that is the variable okay that is the value that user will enter will store in the a that is this variable in that variable now let us print that variable a so to print that variable we have to write here the document dot write method or you can use here also the alert method so now i'm going to write here the document dot write method and in that document dot write method i have to write here the variable length that is a and then semicolon what i did here i have called that a variable in that method friends so whatever the whatever the value user will enter in the prompt box it will first store to that variable and it will print by the use of that document dot write method because we have given that value there the control plus s the control plus r again a prompt box has become let us enter your name that is prince and then press ok now you can see in the screen that is our name is displaying in the web browser screen friends so this is to the variable concept friends now let us do another thing like uh, suppose i want to add two numbers friends so what i have to do by the use of prompt box so let us write here that please enter or you can see like you can write here this method that is the enter first number enter first number okay friends enter first number and let us create another that is copy it and then paste it and let us change here that place enter second number second number and i have to change here the variable name that is b okay so i have created two prompt box friends and i have given the variable that is first is a and the first is b so the value whatever the value user will enter will store in the a and the second prompt box value whatever the user will enter will store in the b and what i have to do i have to write here that is i want to add these two numbers so to add these two numbers what i have to do i have to do like a plus b so these two numbers will be add now control plus s now you can see here that these two numbers will not be add why control plus r let us write here first number that is 5 okay and then you can see that another prompt box has been come and it is asking us please enter the second number let us write here the 5 and it will give us the result that is the 54 why 54 why it is not adding these numbers it should be 9 but it is 54 why because the JavaScript is considering that it is as a string it is not considering that these numbers are the numbers or the integers the JavaScript is considering that it is a string so what I have to do, we have to convert that string into the integer or into the number type. So to convert that string into the integer, what I have to do, we have to use the parse into method friends. 
let us see how to use the parse int method parse int is that method which is used to convert the string into the integer string into the float anything so let us create how so let us remove that and you, what you have to do notice here focus on that what i am going to write here focus on that first carefully i have to write here the parse int method p a r s e parse and then i capital i should be capital and then int parse int and then the bracket and in that bracket in the parse int method bracket i have to write here the prompt box method friends parse int and the bracket of the parse int and between that prompt box method prompt and then again the bracket of the prompt box okay and in that double quotes we have to write that the enter the first number enter first number this is that friends what i did here i have first tried the parse int method and this is the bracket of the parse int method this is the closing bracket of the parse int method and this is the prompt box this is the opening back bracket of the parse uh, prompt box and this is the closing bracket of the prompt box and i have to write here the semicolon phrase this is the phrase and i have to give here like is like the variable a is equals to that i have stored that value that is in the variable a friends so this is about that friends okay friends so let us copy paste that in that similarly like that so again i have to write like that parse int parse int and the bracket of the parse int and in that i have to write the prompt box that is the prompt and then again the bracket of the prompt box and in the double quotes i have to write that the number that is please enter the second number enter second number okay friends and then semicolon and also i have to give here the it's a store it in the variable i have to give it the variable name that is variable b is equals to parse it notice here friends the i of the parse it should be capital friends okay all the words should be small but the i should be capital friends and now control plus s now it will add that number because we have converted our string into the integer now control plus s and then now control plus r now enter the first number that is 5 click okay and then enter the second number that is 4 click okay that is it is giving us the result that is the 9 5 plus 4 is 9 this is about the concept of the parse int friends and one concept has to be noticed here friends um, if you enter here like that control r if you enter in the points in the floating point value that is 2.3 okay and okay and then 2.2 it should give us the value 2.4.5 uh, but it is giving us the value that is the 4 why it is skipped the point value that is 2 point should be 2 point 4 point 5 but it skipped that point value why because this is only integer so to to use that to remove that problem what you have to do you have to give here the parse float instead of int you have to write here the parse float because the points value are the float value friends this is called the float value friends okay and then again i have to write here the parse float value friends the control plus s and then of control plus r again right here that is 2.3 okay and 2.2 okay it is giving us the result that is a 4.5 so this is the method of the parse float friends okay friends i have you have understood that and also you can notice here that instead of writing a plus b you can store it in the variable that is variable total is equals to a plus b so i have stored the values that the a plus b the value that we user will enter that is the value of a it will store in the total variable that is the sum will store in the total variable and instead of writing a plus b i can call here that is that this total variable total variable okay this total variable i have called in that and in that total variable the value is a plus b the control plus s and then of control plus r again enter the value that is 7 plus 7 14 it is giving us the result that is the 14 so this is about the concept of the prompt box and uh, in this lecture we have learned that how to create the prompt box and how to convert any string into the integer or string into the float so this is about that in our next lecture we will make a calculator by the use of the prompt box so if you like my video then can subscribe my channel share my channel or also press the bell icon so that the notification of my all the new videos will sort of so the notification about your mobile phone so thank you very much take care bye bye